Hey everybody, Corey Levine coming to you from the Harold Feinstein Photography Trust. I'm the studio manager here for the Trust and today I'm going to be unboxing one of Harold's vintage prints, uh, which is very exciting and this is a print that is um, consistent. It's the same image that's currently hanging at Gallery Thierry Bignon in Paris uh, during the show Graciously Yours, which is a solo show of Harold's work. So today we're going to talk about uh, an image called Piano Still Life. I'll take it out here for you. So this image was shot in 1974 uh, in Saxton's River, Vermont, and this was during a period of Harold's life when he was teaching at Wyndham College uh, in Vermont, which later became Landmark College. And it comes from what is kind of a, a lesser known body of Harold's work, which is his still life. Uh, and about still life, Harold once said, uh, and I quote, many times the smallness or the narrowness or the seeming narrowness of a subject actually is the doorway to the most effective poetry and essay. Picking a very small area, a feeling of life, a moment of time, and moving into that, somehow, the door opens, and by its narrowness, the smallness of it, you can then begin to touch truly universal aspects of life. So really beautiful thoughts from Harold about shooting still life. And on this particular image, you really notice the quality of the lighting, you know, the, the physical light source and the beautiful striping it creates as it casts across the frame of the piano. The print itself displays a wide range of tonality from the true blacks of the shadows uh, and the keys to a stark white in the torn piece of art that's in the center of the frame, as well as the white keys beneath it. The image itself is rich with a variety of textures. Note the grain and the cracking on the wood, the modeling on the art, as well as the dirt texture on the piano's keys. You know, the, the photograph you'll see has you know, various different layers of visual information from the hammers that reside within the piano itself, the art that rests atop the keys, the additional subject of the open matchbox which is sitting between them, and even the little bit of dappled light beneath the piano creates an additional layer of space in the image. Compositionally, the variety of subject matter, the matchbox, the text on the piano, the art, the keys, all move the eye through the piece, and the stark white replacement key, which is in the center of the frame toward the bottom, is a heavy vo visual focal point, which brings the reader toward that piece of mystery art. You know, thematically, there's a sense of abandonment to the subject matter from the piano itself, which sits unused, derelict, to the open matchbox left behind, and this torn piece of unknown art, uh, incomplete and evoking a question of what it was. Perhaps this is indicative of the artist's mood at the time, or is an overarching emergent theme to the image. So overall, this piece is a, a quiet image from Harold's experience living in rural Vermont. It's a rare piece of still life, as Harold Feinstein was generally more known for his humanist street photography. But still, even here, uh, he's clearly a master when photographing the objects of everyday life. To end on Harold in his own words, he did once say about taking these types of still life images, and I'll quote, Photographing the life you lead. We need that. We need our story. The story that we live. It's really about us the nightstand by the bed, the things that are lying on the table. Document it. Think of your life as an important piece of the story of humankind and photograph it. And I think that's a beautiful note to end on and we'll leave it there. And thank you for visiting and watching this video. Be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. We're Harold Feinstein on all those platforms. And we hope to see you there. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you all next time. Thanks a lot.